How to build a search in Reaxis using the Query Builder. Let's start the introduction to the Query Builder. We require the substances to be biphenyls, substituted only with chlorine atoms. Because various numbers of chlorines may be substituted in any number of positions, it probably is easiest to solve this with a molecular formula search. On the Query Builder page, click Molecular Formula to enter a part formula for the chlorinated biphenyls. We could enter the molecular formula here. Instead, let's use the built-in interactive periodic table to help build the formula. Let's select the relevant elements from the periodic table. Carbon, hydrogen, and chlorine. Then restrict the substances to 12 carbons, but allow any number of hydrogen and chlorine atoms by adding a question mark next to those two elements. And click Use this formula. To restrict answers to only those substances with the biphenyl ring system, you could build a biphenyl structure. However, most likely all substances of interest would contain the part name biphenyl. Let's search for name and drag and drop chemical name onto the query builder. Enter the term biphenyl with leading and trailing asterisks as part of the chemical name. The asterisks are truncation symbols, indicating that the name may include other characters or phrases before and after biphenyl. This is equivalent to selecting contains and biphenyl from the menu of the chemical name field. Finally, let's search for degradation and drag and drop the abiotic degradation, photolysis querylet, onto the query builder. Check the Find Any box and Reaxis will retrieve only substances that contain information in this field. The three fields of your query are linked by default with the operator AND. You can change the operator by clicking it and selecting an alternative from the menu. For this search, however, we'll use AND. Perform the search by clicking Search and then Substances. The results page is displayed. Reaxis retrieves a hit set of substance records, all chlorinated by phenyls that include data on their degradation by photolysis. The first substance, hexachlorobiphenyl, has nine hits for abiotic degradation, photolysis. Let's click Abiotic Degradation to view them. The second hit shows type, concentration, degradation rate, exposure period, and more. The degradation is 64% in 48 hours. If this meets our requirements, we can review the results to find the substance of choice. Let's say we are looking for substances that degrade by at least 90% in 24 hours. Such substances would have to have a half-life time of less than 6 hours. To see how you can refine the search, click Refine Search.